Ain't afraid to drown If that means I'm deep up in your ocean Yeah Girl, I drink it down Sipping on your body all night Ain't afraid to drown If that means I'm deep up in your ocean Yeah Girl, I drink it down Sipping on your body all night Alright, so here's a quick and very easy to follow tutorial on how to mix your song covers using a free software called Audacity and some free plugins within Audacity from MuseHub. So let's go. First things first, let's make sure that we have the latest version of Audacity. So here I have the Audacity 3.2.5. This is important because this version already allows you to have real-time effects over here. Alright, so we can already build a vocal chain for our song covers. So once you have that, you have to download the Muse Hub plugin suite that we will be using for this tutorial. So for you to do that, you have to click on add effect and go to get more effects and it will bring you to the Audacity plugins website and just click on plugin suites and you have Muse Hub. So click on Muse Hub here and click the one for your operating system. For me, it's uh, Windows. So click on that one and it will install. Once it's installed, it will be on your system tray. So right over here, Muse Hub, click on that. And for the plugins that you haven't installed yet, it will say get. So just click on get. So I've already installed the EQs, the compressor, and all that good stuff for this tutorial. Once you've done all of that, you can already head on to Audacity. So I already have a track here and uh, I've already built the vocal chain. But before that, let's hear the before. In afraid to drown. That means I'm deep up in your ocean, yeah. All right, the usual sound signature of any microphone is uh, it has mud and uh, it doesn't cut through the mix or it doesn't cut through the um, instrumental. So with the vocal chain applied, this is how it will sound like. Ain't afraid to drown If that means I'm deep up in your ocean, yeah. So let's start with the vocal chain. So I already added it up here. So for you to do that, just click on add effect and then go to Muse Effects. And this is where your plugins will be found. This is how I normally sort my plugins. So I start with an EQ. So for this EQ, the first one I have is Clarity. So this is the default setting. So you have a lot of presets here. All right, so this is the before. In afraid to drown. That means I'm deep up in your ocean. This is uh, with the clarity preset. In afraid to drown. If that means I'm deep up in your ocean. Yeah. Alright, so let's solo it so you can appreciate it more before. In afraid to drown. If that means I'm deep up in your ocean. Yeah. In afraid to drown. If that means I'm deep up in your ocean, yeah. You would hear more clarity on the high frequency right over there. So let's head on over to the second effect, which is another EQ. So this time I've added the air preset, but I've dialed it down to half of the default. So the default is right over here. So I uh, dial it down right over here. And this is how it sounds like before. In afraid to drown. If that means I'm deep up in your ocean, yeah. And with the plugin. In afraid to drown. If that means I'm deep up in your ocean, yeah. Alright, so as the preset says, it adds air to, you know, the, the vowels, which is very good when you want your vocals to cut through the mix. The next plugin I've added is the compressor. So again, this is all from the Muse FX plugin suite. So for compressor, I have the pop vocals preset dialed down to number three because uh, the default is at uh, eight, right? So I dial it down to three just so it won't be too loud this is the before in afraid to drown if that means i'm deep up in your ocean yeah this is with in afraid to drown if that means I'm deep up in your ocean, yeah. Alright, so as you've noticed, it made the vocals pop more and uh, sound louder. So since we've added the EQs and the compressor, we now want to cut the siblings, the loud S's. I have it here, so the default settings for siblings is right over here. So I just dial it down a little bit. It depends on the voice that you're working with. Girl, I drink it down. Sip it. 
Sipping. All right, so that's sipping. Sipping on there your you body go. all night. All right, so it's very subtle because you also don't want your S to sound unnatural. So let's try to listen to it with the instrumentals. In afraid to drown. If that means I'm deep up in your ocean, yeah. Girl, I drink it down. Sipping on your body all night. Right about now, the vocals is a little bit louder than the instrumental, but later on we'll fix that. For now, we'll add the reverb and the delay. Again, this plugin suite has the reverb and delay as well. So just add it here. So I have a reverb here. And we have a lot of settings or presets here. And what I chose is the dark call. It depends on the genre or on the song that you're working on. Um, for me, I found the dark hole to be fit, but I dial it down to two because the default one is too much. So this is how it sounds like with the uh, dark hole preset. In afraid to drown. There you go. So that's too much of a reverb. Let's dial it down to about two and let's hear it. In afraid to drown. If that means I'm deep up in your ocean, yeah. Girl, I drink it down. Sipping on your body all night. All right, so that's uh, again, that's based on your preference. So just feel free to play around with the reverb effect. So, lastly, I would want to add the delay. As usual, you have a lot of default settings here, but I liked the mix exciter. Let's listen to it with the mix exciter. And I dialed it down to number three. In afraid to drown. If that means I'm. All right, so the default is here. In afraid to drown, if that means I'm deep up in your ocean, yeah. All right, so you would hear the you know the delay just sitting under the the main vocals, and that's how I prefer my songs to sound. That's pretty much the vocal chain for this song, and let's try to hear it with the instrumental. In afraid to drown. If that means I'm deep up in your ocean, yeah. Girl, I drink it down, sipping on your body all night. All right, so as I've said earlier, we want to work on the instrumental because the vocals now is too loud. Click on the background music or the instrumental and then add a compressor here. The one I applied is a vocal ride, uh, part of the preset. So this is the default and uh, turn it on. And this is how it will sound like. In afraid to drown, if that means I'm deep up in your ocean, yeah. Girl, I drink it down, sipping on your body all night. So that's pretty much how I would mix that particular song cover using Audacity and these free plugins. Again, it's very easy because you don't have to do the EQ manually, the compressing, the de-essing. It's all through these knobs which is very good for beginners so again we started with this in afraid to drown if that means i'm deep up in your ocean yeah girl i drink it down sipping on your body all night and we ended up with this in afraid to drown if that means i'm deep up in your ocean yeah Girl, I drink it down, sipping on your body all night. And just for reference, let me play the version of this song which I mixed using Reaper. In afraid to drown, if that means I'm deep up in your ocean, yeah. Girl, I drink it down, sipping on your body all night. In afraid to drown. That means I'm deep up in your ocean, yeah. Girl, I drink it down, sipping on your body all night. And that's it for this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, leave a comment below if you have questions, share the video if you like to, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, follow me on my Facebook page at Junil Covers, and of course, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.